boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand. And for months, it seemed all but assured that he wouldn't win. Biden's first debate performance in June was widely written off as a disaster. It seemed pretty obvious he had zero chance at the nomination. And then Bernie Sanders started to win primaries. For the second presidential cycle in a row, Us! Sanders proved to be the only Democrat in the field with legitimate grassroots support. Donors saw this and they panicked. Um, what is that supposed to mean? The guy who hates billionaires? What's he going to do to Wall Street? So Sanders was unacceptable to the people who fund the Democratic Party, but there was a problem. What were Dude, come on. What were the options? Pete Buttigieg and Beto O'Rourke? No. Both had turned out to be lighter than air. Elizabeth Warren? Double no. Kamala Harris was oh, to go back. horrible on every level. Absolutely nobody liked Kamala Harris, and for good reason. Well, at least we finally agree on something. So it turned out to be Joe Biden by default. Get off the Biden signs. We're all in. And of course, the media got the message immediately. By the time he was inaugurated, ah. here's what the press corps was telling you about Joe Biden. Anybody who has any um, connection to re reality about what is going on around them should have watched that and said, the adults are back in the room. It, it seems as though we have a... Ah! 